Hey guys, this is Anita. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my review of the Winter Night Trilogy by Katherine Arden. This is completely spoiler free. So you don't have to worry even if you haven't read the series. I noticed this series first time only because of these beautiful covers. Last year I was checking the premise of another book in Goodreads and book 3 Winter of the Witch is listed down in the section. Readers also enjoy listing Goodreads. That cover immediately grabbed my attention. I really like the synopsis of the series and immediately added it to my TBR. My plan was to read this trilogy as part of read along in Evie's Discord but I am late one month. I have to watch all live shows now. But I'm glad that I read this trilogy. My first cover read turned out to be a success. These books are set in Russia around 13th or 14th century where people are embracing Christianity and forgetting their household spirits. Household spirits are these demons in Russian folklore for whom people give offerings and in turn these demons guard their houses, their barns and their gates. But because of the neglect, these demons start fading and that unfolds to dangerous events. First book, The Bear and the Nightingale, sets in this uh, small village in the northern part of Russia, in the outskirts of a forest. We mainly follow Vasya, who quickly realizes the dangers of uh, the fading of these household spirits and her fight for survival, her fight to save her family, her fight to save her village. In next two books, Girl in the Tower and Winter of the Wish takes get a lot higher. We see Tatars threatening Moscow and Russia in exchange for tributaries. We see Vasya getting wrapped up in this politics. That's all I want to say to keep it completely spoiler free. I don't know anything about Russian history or Russian folklore before starting this series. The concept of household spirits is completely new to me. I enjoyed getting to know them. Throughout the series, we get to meet different demons. Some I find some of them very cute, especially this mushroom spirit we meet in the winter of the witch. I want my own uh, little mushroom spirit. Also, the history of Russian principalities paying tribute to Tatars is new to me. Arden mentions in the author's note that some of the events in this series really happened. So, I googled after finishing the series. We don't have to know any of them before reading the series. One of the best things about this series is writing. It is very descriptive. It feels like we are in the middle of forest in winter reading the book, especially the first one. There is one scene in Winter of the Witch where main character gets hurt and walks on snow without shoes. So I had to take a break and wear socks. Arden's writing is beautiful and very immersive. And the biggest strength to this series is Vasya's characterization. She's a fantastic character to follow. She is brave, free spirit and never gives up. Her bond with her sister, her brothers and her animal companion is portrayed very well. Vasya single-handedly carried this series for me. Most of the tropes in this series are common, like not like other girl tropes, but Arden executed them very well. This is set in 14th century Russia where women have to be modest and they have set of rules to follow. Vasya doesn't follow them and she has no interest in marriage. Arden executed this so well. Vasya doesn't look down on women who gets married and who follow these rules. She has clarity on who she is and what she wants. She doesn't get judgmental on others. I really respect Catherine Arden for handling this so perfect. There is romance in this series. There are hints in second book but it comes to the central plot line in third book. It didn't bother me at all. It was there as and when required. There was no angst and I really liked that. And I really like the role played by antagonists in this book. There are different antagonists, magical and regular one. I like the depth added to these characters. They added a lot to the plot. They draw the plot in some places. I am not saying I like these characters. I absolutely hated one antagonist. But I understand their motivations clearly and they played major role in some events. I really like that they have their own important role to play instead of just being there for the sake of it. I had pacing issues with the first book Bear and Nightingale. I find it little slow in some places but, but second and third book are fast paced and action packed. I flew through the second book but I had to take breaks while reading the third book because some horrifying things happen. First and third book are more heavy in folklore compared to book two. 
out of all three book three winter of the witch is my favorite though we meet many characters from book one i wasn't invested in them except vasya i felt we didn't get any depth of other characters other than vasya until book two i felt we got more depth of other characters in book three i am more invested in them i rooted for them and i liked the way everything came together at the end i fell in love with this world if you are new to russian folklore or if you are looking for a different fairy tale you will really enjoy this if you are looking for a winter read this is perfect writing is very atmospheric it makes us feel cold i highly recommend this if you have already read this series let me know your thoughts and comments thank you for watching see you in the next video bye bye